Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alex. I'm a Google developer expert for Firebase and I'm gonna show you in this video how to filter Firestore in real time using Jetpack Compose. This is a video for an article that I wrote. Link is in the description below which was recently published on the Firebase Tips and Tricks publication on Medium. So let's begin. As you already may know, in many of our applications we need to allow users to search our app content. For example, in an online shop app, we may want to search for products by a certain name. Before Jetpack Compose, we had to create a recycler view and an adapter so we can display the data that is returned from the database. Each time something in the database changed, we had to inform the adapter about the change. How about using Jetpack Compose for filtering the data? Nowadays, there is no need for any adapters. Each time something changes, the state changes and the screen is recomposed. So I'll try to explain in this video a complete example of how to query Firestore by a search text using a full code example. We'll use a clean architecture with MVVM. So let's take a look at how this application looks like. Let's try to perform a search to find some products that start with A. Fortunately, we have apples and avocado. If we type V, only the avocado remains. If we type anything but O, let's say P, we get no results, hence this message. If we delete the P, the avocado is displayed again. We can navigate further to see the details and we also can navigate back to the search results. One thing to mention is that when we navigate back, the cursor is always placed at the end of the search word. We can delete all characters and we can also get back to the initial list of products. Now, all these products are stored in Cloud Firestore. So here is the corresponding schema for the products collection. Before starting, let's make sure we have added the following dependencies in the build grader project file and the following dependencies in the build grader module file. As you can see, we'll use Hilt for Android for dependency injection and Jetpack Compose. We'll build a clean architecture Android application where the calls to Firestore will be performed using Kotlin coroutine and asynchronous flow. To be able to process the response that we get from Firestore, we need to create a response class that looks like this. When the operation succeeds, we expect to get a list of product objects. So here is the corresponding product class. There is a single operation that we have to do. So we'll add it in a repository interface. If you're wondering what type of data is product list response, it's a type alias used in Kotlin to provide more concise alternative names for our existing types. The corresponding implementation of the method is present inside the repository implementation class where we perform the query and attach a real-time listener. Now talking about the UI elements, we have only a single activity that looks as simple as this. When it comes to the UI, this simple application contains three screens. I'll close all these windows and I open the screen sealed class. All these screens are also represented in our nav graph. The first screen, it's a really simple screen. It only displays a list of products and it is composed of a top bar and the actual content where the products list lazy columns looks exactly like this. When we click on the search icon, we navigate to the product search screen, where we obviously have a different top bar. There are three things that need to be mentioned here. Each time we click the search icon, we request the focus so that we do not always have to click the text field. If we navigate forward to the product detail screen or navigate back to the product click screen, the keyboard is collapsing so that we do not always have to press the back button on our Android device. If we hit back in the product detail screen, once we get back to the product search screen, the cursor is is always placed at the end of the search text. Regarding the product search content, it's almost the same as the product list content, but here we call the get product list using the search text. The last screen is the product detail screen, which is the simple screen in our application. With a simple top bar, 
and the content is represented by the product name which is placed in the center of our screen. Regarding code, that's pretty much all of it. Getting back to the search part, this approach cannot be considered a full text search solution. And that's because Firestore doesn't currently have such capabilities. Besides that, downloading an entire collection for searching the fields client side isn't practical at all. To enable full text search, we have to use third party libraries or use Firebase extensions. Here we have the search with Algulia, the search with Firestore with TypeSense and search with Elastic App Search. If you are interested, I have written an article a couple of years ago regarding a workaround that can help us filter Firestore data in a cheaper way. However, if you only need the search feature, for example, only against some names, the solution in this article will work perfectly fine. Are there any other alternatives? Yes, there is one, which is called the Firebase UI library, which makes it simple to bind the data from Cloud Firestore to our app's UI. In this case, all the heavy work is done behind the scenes by the library. What we need to do is to create a Firestore Recycler Options object, which should be passed to the Firestore Recycler adapter. That being said, we have to get back to the old way of handling Firestore requests, which is using an adapter. In conclusion, that's the simple solution for searching Firestore using a certain word. I hope you find this article useful and if you have any questions regarding this topic, feel free and leave a comment in the section below. So in the end guys, you can check the entire article on Medium. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. But if you think you learned something new, please subscribe to my channel because more videos are coming. Bye!